Our story starts with a young couple named Joseph and Mary. Joseph, a carpenter by trade, was pledged to marry him. But before their wedding day arrived, Mary had a very special visit from an angel. Yes, Merry a Christmas. Real angel. Welcome Mary to Bethlehem. Enjoy your ride and your journey. From God just for her. The Thank angel you. said, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. The Holy Spirit will overshadow you, and you will conceive and give birth to a son, and you shall call him Jesus. And it happened to Mary and Joseph, just as the angel had said. After they had been married, the Roman Emperor Augustus decided that he wanted to know how many people were in his empire so that he could make everyone pay him taxes. This is called a census. In order to do this, he ordered everyone to return to the town where their family had come from so they could register there for the census. So Mary and Joseph set out on a long journey from Nazareth to Joseph's hometown of Bethlehem. When they finally reached Bethlehem, the town was overflowing with people who had come to register for the census. In fact, there were so many people there that Mary and Joseph could not find a single house or inn that had a room or a bed for them to stay in. And finally, in desperation, they had to stay in a local stable full of animals. And it was in this same stable that Mary gave birth to her son, Jesus. On that same night, on the hills and pastures outside of Bethlehem, there were shepherds taking care of their flocks of sheep. And it was here in the dark of night that suddenly an angel appeared to them, and the glory of God was shining all around them. The shepherds had never seen anything like this, and they were absolutely terrified. The angel immediately knew how frightened the shepherds were, and said to them, Do not be afraid. I have good news for you and for the whole world. Today a Savior has been born for you in Bethlehem. You will find him wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And then suddenly the sky was full of angels and all around the sky was full of light. As the shepherds wondered at the sight, the angels began to sing glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to everyone. When the angels had disappeared, the shepherds said to each other, let's go to Bethlehem and see for ourselves this thing that the angels have told us. And so they hurried into the town of Bethlehem. And just like the angels had said, they found Joseph, Mary, and the baby Jesus. And the baby Jesus was lying in a manger right in the middle of that stable, just as the angels had said. They left there truly amazed. And they told everyone they met the incredible news that the angel had given them and the story of finding the baby Jesus, just as they had been told. Everyone they told was astonished at what they heard. God had even revealed to wise men in the east a special star in the sky. These men searched for the meaning of this star, and what they found led them a great distance, and in time, finally led them to Joseph, Mary, and Jesus. They believed that Jesus was born to be a king above all kings, and even brought him very precious gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. This is an incredible story, but it is no fairy tale. God's Word, the Holy Bible, tells us that all of this was a part of God's plan to save us, to save the whole world from the curse of sin. God created us to love us. We have a hard time believing this because we know in our hearts that we haven't always been good. And in fact, sometimes we've been downright bad. But the very best news we find in this story is that God's love isn't something we have to earn. In fact, it is a gift. Jesus is the greatest gift ever given to the world. And in the Bible, the apostle John tells us, this is how much God loved the world. He gave his son his one and only son. And this is why, so that no one need be destroyed. By believing in him, anyone can have a whole and lasting life. It is our hope that as you see the scenes of the nativity here tonight, that you would find the faith to believe that God loves you and that this Christmas you would receive the greatest gift of all, Jesus.
Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.